Hey, what's going on, y'all? So in this video, we're going to be taking a look at the NVIDIA Omniverse special address that was done last week. Now I'm trying to catch up on stuff, but basically what I'm going to do right now, there is a small portion uh, where they talked about the avatar. So that's what I'm going to be kind of watching, which is the presentation by Simon, uh, which is I think is pretty cool. And then after that, I'm going to show you who won the NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima contest. So with that being said, let's go check out what Simon has to uh, talk about here in this special address here. Start creating today. Now let me hand it off to my colleague Simon to talk about digital humans. Thank you, Stephen. At its core, an avatar is a virtual robot that can perceive, plan, and act. Super cool. Guy. Avatars will be everywhere. They will become more personal and intuitive. Eventually, it will be as natural as talking to another person. However, creating digital humans is complex. We need breakthroughs in natural language processing, speech, and vision while simultaneously processing complex facial and body animations, sophisticated materials and rendering, all in real time. Everything must dynamically update and react to us in milliseconds, just like human conversation. That's crazy. NVIDIA's work on digital humans spans across the company, from research and visualization to animation and simulation. This is how you know he's pro, by the way. This is great speech technique right here. I try to do that. I give out a lot of speeches in my day job, and um, that's good technique there, Simon. From AI right. models all the way to deployment. Let me show you Audio to Face, our facial animation AI, created by close collaboration between NVIDIA research, engineering, and creative teams. Audio to Face is an AI model that can create facial animation directly from voices. Our new version has just been released. It has some significant new updates that vastly improve how people create high quality facial animation. Let me show you what it can do. I think I already made a video about this on the channel. <laughs> I love that face. It's so dark. Where? Where is it? I can't. I can't see it. I can't see anything. But I know it's there. Waiting. Waiting. The beige hue on the waters of the lock impressed all, including the French queen before she heard that symphony again, just as young Arthur won. Okay, I have a few jokes here. What do you call a fish without any eyes? <laughs> we have an exciting roadmap for Omniverse Audio to Face. We just added more features to analyze and automatically transfer your emotions crazy. to your avatar. This is coming from We're expanding audio connections only. and availability of Audio to Face to other engines and platforms. Let me show you where we're headed. First, we're going to expand our multi-language support. We're looking at improving different people's voice adaptability. So no matter what type of voice input goes in, the network will create the predicted facial animation even more accurately. We're also going to provide a training SDK so users can train their own data, serving more particular needs people might have to customize their avatar. Crazy. And looking even further ahead, here's our vision. It starts with simplifying how to create our own 3D avatar with our own likeness using just a single photo. Yeah, buddy. Here, we see a full cloud-based solution where you can drag a photo into this app. This is what I'm talking about. The 3D model right with textures generated on the fly. Very easy and quick. And these 3D models are not NERF or point cloudy. They're actually animation-ready meshes Ooh. with a clean topology ready to be animated immediately with audio to face. Next. Yeah. We're developing an anatomically based high fidelity muscle simulation approach to generate any type of facial motion on any character. It's crazy. The facial animation you see on the right is created through muscle simulation only. There are no other hand tweaks or animations applied. We can teach the muscles how to behave and they learn how to move based on a video input from the left. Crazy. Not only that, this is a generalized solution that works for many different types of digital humans. We can train and transfer these muscles to all kinds of digital humans, enabling us to generate motion without the need to motion capture or do 4D scans. Lastly, here's one of the most complex digital assets to create and simulate. Hair. Similar to Image to 3D, we can now generate strand-based hair from a single photo. What we're showing here is an end-to-end -end system from generating hair to simulation. Yo, for grooming hair, like... we're combining a full physics-based system that allows you to interact and edit your virtual groom, just like in the real world. 
We want to democratize building interactive avatars for every platform. Today, we're announcing Omniverse Avatar Cloud Engine, Omniverse Ace. Okay. Ace is a collection of cloud... I think, I think that's, that's pretty much what I wanted to show you all as far as what, you know, where NVIDIA is heading. And again, I'm going to say this. You know, last year when I started using Omniverse, people thought I was nuts. You know, actually, some individuals, usually Maya users, are like, Omniverse is not going to create humans. They're not going to have... That's just too much work. But again, looking at this presentation here, the stuff that they're working on is going to be insane. Again, the research that's going through this, this is NVIDIA we're talking about here. And if they want to do human, photorealistic digital human, they can probably do it, man. This is the company that can do that. They, they're they not new to technology. So again, so exciting. And you probably saw that was probably Omniverse in the software. They're working on with the physics, the hair, the groom, strand-based kind of system with physics. And the, the photo to, to 3D, that's insane because we all know what we can do with that now. With just one photo, create a 3D, and you can do that 3D mesh model, take it somewhere else, and make something out of it, right? All this technology is crazy. Um, they actually uploaded a six-part video on how you can get photorealistic human in Omniverse right now, which I haven't seen yet, but, you know, I'm planning on seeing that. All right, so what we're going to do right now is we're actually going to check out the NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima contest that I judged. Big thanks to NVIDIA for letting me judge this contest. Pretty amazing stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and check out the highlights sizzle reel real quick, and then we'll take a look at the winner, okay? It's on YouTube. Okay. A little beat. A little funky. Funky. But funky. <laughs> Sprinkle. Nice for losing, baby. All right, so that was real for the NVIDIA Omniverse Machinima contest. And what I'm doing now is actually show you the winner. If I scroll down right here, the winner's circle. First place is Simon Lavitt. Second is Spread Films. And third is Bay Metro Media. All right, so let me go ahead and tell you right now, the winner first place is actually my pick when I judged as well. So let's go ahead and check this out. Beyond the majesty of the astronaut painting, what makes this masterpiece so special is the larger story it contains. 
the unique painter of the galaxy, is with us at the Omniverse Museum. Please welcome the creative genius. So, this is pretty cool because the concept of it is out of this world. It was so cool. Obviously, it took a lot of time to make this piece. I mean... It's cr so it was really my favorite because of the concept of it. Now, obviously, some of the parts were really photorealistic, but obviously some of it weren't. But at the same time, it's not always about making stuff look photorealistic all the time, um, especially in Omniverse, right? Because it's a pretty new software, and it's just cool to have this person's imagination. Like, I can kind of just imagine this person, whoever created this, you know, Simon, just kind of sitting there and thinking about, like, what if, you know, I had this robot painter and you know he was kind of painting this masterpiece but it's all in cg then it again it's like try when i was watching it it was so hard to explain what it was all about and that's what makes it so good uh because it's so complex and then you go oh yeah there's robots in that planet and spaceships oh by the way you know there is an astronaut thing on top of a building Man, it's just a creative mind of this person. And obviously, it took a lot of time to create this. Um, although, I gotta say, in video, we have to get Soul and Soulette in black. Different color. Because, man, please, that would look so cool. Um, but yeah, that's, that's the winner. I mean, he clearly shows it right there, man. Just the concept alone was super freaking cool. I mean, even when he freezes time, claps his hand... And freezes the time. That's, again, super cool. But anyways, those three winners, first, second place, and third, received a freaking NVIDIA Studio laptop. And I'm hoping that they would take those laptops and create more NVIDIA Omniverse concept shorts. Because, again, man, I try to push this machinima contest on the channel. And I believe some of them were a subscriber to my channel because uh, they sent me, like, you know, like the Instagram submissions. I told them to share it with me. And they shared me they shared with me some of the uh, the contest submissions that they submitted. Um, but, yeah, man, again, super cool. Uh, I was so honored to be a judge for this competition. And I hope they invite me again because I had a lot of fun judging. I love watching um, short films, I like to judge them. I host some in the channel as well for my own channel. Um, but yeah, hope y'all like this video. Uh, sorry, I had to kind of just compile it into one, but basically, all these videos were showed in SIGGRAPH 2022 at Vancouver last week. So uh, it was kind of cool. I just combined them all. If y'all have any questions, let me know. Peace out.